Hey everybody, how you doing today? Uh, Will. Hey, guess what? Hey, I'm just going to talk today. We're going to try a simple, something simple. It's going to be uh, making a longbow. So, hopefully, hopefully I'll catch up to you here in a minute and we'll get started. So, hey, hold on. Hey everybody, how you doing? Peace out. Will here, just in time prepping. Hey, you know, uh, when uh, shit hits the fan and all that crap, uh, sometimes we're going to be in a down and out situation where we don't have everything that we need or something that we have had in the past. We don't have now, so what I'm going to try to do is we're going to sit here and we're going to try to make this a homemade uh, longbow. So what I've done, and I kind of got started already, it's not real pretty, but you guys can see I've got this piece of uh, three quarter inch uh, PVC pipe. And then on the inside, I have also put another piece of PVC pipe in there. And it's just big enough to fit inside here. I actually took a piece of tape and wrapped around one end to kind of make it snug so I could take a stick and shove it down in there tightly. And, and that's so that when you go to draw the bow, it's uh, not going to bend uh, bend in half and that'll be it. It'll be able to be uh, reused over and over again. So uh, what I'm going to do first is measure out where the middle of it would be. And the whole thing is four foot... Let's see, I wanted it to be five foot, but I didn't have a long enough piece. But this one here is ten or four feet, ten and a half inches. So that would make it uh, two foot five. Let's see, two foot five. That one says two foot five right there, but it's ten and a half. So. I don't know if you can hear what I'm saying, but I'm more or less. So I'm going to make it mark here at two foot five and a quarter. That'll be right about there. And we'll see what that makes it from the other end. We'll make sure it's right in the middle. And you'll see why in a minute. So, yeah. Two foot. Two foot five, two foot five and a quarter. So let's see, two foot five and a quarter. Uh, I'm gonna just make it right about there. And I think that is perfect. Actually, let me check from the other end. Nope, it's not gonna work that way. We're gonna have to make another one. I'm just gonna make it two foot. Five and a quarter and an eighth. So that would be that one right there. I'm going to make it long so I can tell the difference. And that's going to be, I'm going to call that approximately the middle of the pipe. So the next thing I want to do, that's going to be, I'm going to put a peg through there and that's what the uh, arrow will ride on so it's not going up and down when we're trying to shoot the darn thing. So the next thing I want to do is take a piece of tape and let's see. Um, this will work. I'm going to use this regular duct tape here. Usually I have eight tape. You guys know me. Know that I usually use eight tape, but we'll use just regular duct tape today. And make it long enough. I'm going to put it across here like this. And that's just to hold the thing uh, so that when I go to make the ends, it, whoa, it's going to be the same on both ends. So I'll get like this, and that's kind of going to hold it in place. So it doesn't have to be perfect, so have this thing here. We're going to try to heat up the ends. Hopefully we have enough fluid in here to do that. And I'm just going to, whoop, hold it there too long. Uh, 
anyway, I can make it pliable. I don't want to burn myself. I'm ready to use this. There we go. I'm going to try to warm it up a little bit. Putting even pressure on it. I don't know if you guys can see down here. There's, uh, here, let me move the camera a little bit. Hold it on. See what I'm doing here. I need to warm it up a little more. Trying to get it to hold that uh, uh, is it gonna work just fine? Yeah. I'm flattening the end of it. That's where, as we know, the string is gonna have to be attached. So Hold it there until it cools off so it stays that shape. And I'm going to use this tape measure because it's about an inch wide, so that's what I'm going to try to go for down here. It's going back to its shape because it's getting hot. But we're going to change that. <laughs> doesn't matter if you squirt it a little bit because uh, the end result is what I want to do is uh, paint the thing camouflage. So, uh, there. Let's go down here to the other end do the same thing. I'm going to move the camera so you guys can see. Safety thing on the back. Trying to get it heated up. Yes. I'm trying to make sure that it's going to be the same. Come on.
to catch it on fire, but I want it to be flat at the same time. There we go, it's starting to work now. While we're waiting on here, I want to tell you that the uh, other piece of PVC that goes in there is a three quarters of an inch on the outside. This one here is three quarters of an inch on the inside, so it pushes all the way through there and reinforces the pipe. Over there. Okay, it's gonna work pretty good here. Work better than the other end, actually. Should, uh, oh, that's hot. Go back down here for you guys to see this end. Make sure that that's uh, that'll work. So that's that. And then, uh, oh shoot, we're gonna drill a hole in that end. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, back. We got the grill now. What we're gonna do is uh, grill a hole on each end. Take that tape off. I am not gonna make this rocket science. We can uh, approximately find the end of it, or the center of it, and draw a hole in it. That one, we're going to do the same thing on this other end. Let me move the camera a little bit out so everybody can see what I... I'm going to do the same thing on this end. There we go. Approximately that way. And... Yeah, this is going to be the same diameter. You know what? That's pretty close. So, got that and that. And it's going to be like that. And I am going to draw a hole right about right there. Can you guys see? Right about right there. And let me try to go all the way through it. There we go. Okay, now we got all the holes in there. I'm going to take the paracord, 550 paracord. And I'm gonna go with this. Oh, I'm about my popsicle. It's gonna melt on me. Excuse me, I'm gonna have to have a bite of it real fast here because it's kind of warm out here. I need something to keep my mouth dry, uh, wet so I can talk to you guys. You guys see what I'm doing here? Let me move the camera. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, there we go. So what I'm doing is trying to put a knot in the cord at this end here, like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull this out like this. And we're going to go all the way down here to the other end. And we're going to put this 
screw this end also. Like that. And hold on a second. Everything's getting in the way here. Now, let me move the camera. Hold on. Try to be as steady as I can. I'm going to take this. I'm going to try to bend by putting my leg through there. And I'm going to use my body to bend this. around here like this. There. You guys can kind of see what I did there, right? And I am going to put uh, a knot in it. And the reason I did that is because this way, if you do it this way, you can unstring the thing and put everything away and just carry it attached to your backpack as a straight piece. There we go. It's all starting to come together, something like that. And this way, You can unstrain it. See? And it's still got a pull on it. Okay, so now, since I've done all that, and I've got this piece in there, it slid a little bit, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just go through it again. that because I'm going to put this piece of dowel through there to hold the arrows. Yeah, that's going to work. So what I'm going to do is that until it fits in there. Because I don't want the dang thing too damn big. I still want it to be able to go through there. I'm right-handed, so guess what? I put it in the wrong side. So, I'm going to try to get it to come out the other side there. If I can. Oh yeah, it's going to go through there. And then, will be able to be used either way. Yep. Because we 
you have to have something for the arrow to rest on. Perfect. Then I'm going to take that, the saw. Cut this off. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Okay, so the arrow's gonna hook there. So let's see, we're gonna camouflage the bow. And I'm gonna paint the bow a camouflage color and that's going to take some doing you can see it's kind of come undone down here but it won't I'm going to try it again half hitches are what you want to use so that you can get them off something like that And now we have a longbow. And guess what? I'm gonna go ahead and paint it up. I'm gonna get uh, a couple of arrows. And we're gonna go out and shoot this bad boy tomorrow. So until then, guess what? That's the end of the video, but tomorrow we're gonna fire it. We'll get some arrows in, it'll be painted, everything will be done. And if you hold on a second, I'll push this up just a little bit for us. And that's how you make a longbow out of PVC. And it was kind of easy to make, didn't take too long. And uh, it, real easy, uh, you can take it apart, throw the paracord down in your backpack, uh, hook the PVC to the outside of your backpack. You could even use it as a baton sword if you wanted to. But uh, that's it for today. I want you guys to remember we have the subscriber uh, survival bucket we're going to be giving away uh, 100 subscribers and I'm going to draw a name out for uh, a lucky winner to win $100 worth of survival gear so that's it I want you guys to give me a thumbs up uh, make some comments down below share the video with your friends so that they can uh, come and watch and if you haven't done so already, push that subscription button and make sure that you're uh, entered into the drawing because I need your name and stuff to put into the hat so you have a chance of winning that bucket. So I want you guys to have a super day. Remember, God bless you, God bless me, and God bless USA. Until next time, catch, catch you on the flip-flop.